Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Ashley Viola. I make videos about lifestyle, chat, millennial issues, just social issues, all kinds of issues. Um, if that sounds like content that you might be interested in, take a look around in my channel. If you like what you see, then definitely take a moment to subscribe. So if you saw the title of today's video, then you already know that we're gonna be talking about a very hot button issue, something that the whole entire black Twitter and just social media in general has been exploding about and just foaming at the mouth about. And it is a new Netflix show by Kenya Barris, who is the creator of Blackish, Grownish, um, Mixedish as well, that whole franchise. He is the creator. He now has a new show on Netflix and it is called Black AF. And the whole entire internet has just been exploding and just in a firestorm because of it. Um, I don't even want to say that it's an equal divide. It's really not. I would say about 75% of the internet or black Twitter hate it. And then there's 25% of people who are defending it and think it's a great show. So I really just wanted to share my thoughts on the show and tell you where I stand in this whole debate on the new show Black AF on Netflix. So like I said, most people, it seems the majority of people are not feeling the show and it's just been really panned, at least by the black community. Film critic Carolyn Hines wrote, there is something amiss with how Kenya Barris shows are cast. And to be blunt, that thing is colorism and stereotypes. Black Twitter is not here for it at all, another user said. Another user also noted the fact that the show has all white writers. Imagine that, a show called Black AF with all white writers. I just don't even have the language to even, wow. But that user said, apparently these are all the writers of the Netflix newest show, Abomination Black AF. And I know I didn't read that correctly, but I'm just so flabbergasted by the fact that all the writers are white. And I don't even know if that's fake news, but it's probably not that far off. I was also scouring the internet to find some positive reviews because obviously we want to tell a balanced story, um, but it seems as though that a lot of the celebrities, at least that I had seen over the weekend, or one of the celebrities that I had seen over the weekend who were defending the show, has since deleted her tweets, and that would be Yvette Nicole Brown of Community fame, and she's been in a couple other things, Drake and Josh, a lot of other shows, um, but yeah, she was basically tweeting something to the effect of Rashida Jones has always been black af why are people just now realizing that she's quincy's uh, daughter and it's a great show and she was tweeting in defense of the show but she probably got a lot of flack for it and she has since deleted the tweet because i scoured her whole timeline and could not find it but yes there we go balanced storytelling ladies and gentlemen now back to your regularly scheduled programming and the reason for that is that the black community, a lot of people feel that it's the same thing over and over again, right? The show is called Black AF, yet the main character, by the way, disclaimer, I haven't watched the show. This is not going to be a review of the show. It's really just me explaining kind of um, my perspective and both perspectives and where I stand, but I have not actually watched the show. But just from the outside looking in, I'm just going to tell you my um, thoughts. So I know that's really weird to some people, but I actually have no interest in watching the show, but I really just want to talk less about the show itself um rather i'd like to discuss like the symbolism and what really um lies beneath like why people feel so strongly on either side the way that they do um so yeah so i have to say that um i'm not even gonna like i'm not gonna stretch it out any further i i have to say that i'm more inclined to agree with the people who are really not feeling the show, who have no interest in watching the show, because honestly, it's the same thing over and over again, right? It's the lighter skin or mixed race character who is the main character. Once again, I haven't seen the show, but it's my understanding that Rashida Jones is the main character or one of the main characters, along with another lighter skinned main character. And once again, the show is called Black AF, and it's the same narrative over and over again, where a light skin or a mixed race character is serving as the representative for the black community. And we already know that the black community is not a monolith, right? We are a rainbow. We come in all shades. It, it just seems that mainstream television, though, is so devoid of portraying particularly darker skinned women. I don't want to say a majority as if I like went around and took like a whole sample size and a survey and whatever, but it just seems to me like the majority of people, at least at least what I'm reading and what I'm hearing, are not really here for the show. And the reason is because it's the same thing, you know, when I was growing up, back in my day, as I always like to say, we had a myriad of shows that portrayed a diverse black experience that had darker skin characters on the forefront. We had shows like One on One, we had shows like The Parkers, we had shows like um, Family Matters, we had shows like, there's, there's literally a myriad of them, I mean, 
I could name them for forever. We had Moesha. We had literally a myriad of television shows that portrayed black and brown skin characters on mainstream television. However, somewhere in the last, I would say, decade or so, the paradigm kind of shifted. And I don't want to say negative or positive either which way, actually. I should just say the paradigm shifted. And really, we only started to see lighter skin characters in the forefront of mainstream television, OK? I don't watch these shows, but I'm not even talking about shows that are outside of the mainstream, like on the OWN network or whatever Tyler Perry, like disaster film, movie, television show that is currently on. That's not really what I'm getting at. I'm talking about on our major networks, so our ABCs, our NBCs, our Foxes, like the major cable networks. We really have not seen any TV shows in modern day, in the present, like last 10 years or so. Um, we haven't seen anything in the last 10 years or so that have portrayed a darker skinned family. Not a mixed race family with like one dark skinned token character. I'm not talking about that. Not a white family with one black dark skinned woman. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about these shows that I just mentioned that we grew up on, like I grew up on back in my day, that portrayed darker skinned women, darker skinned men. And it's actually, speaking on the topic of darker skinned men, it feels like it's kind of okay. We have TV shows that do have darker skinned skin males as the lead. It seems if we have a darker skinned male character as like the lead role, we always have to have a lighter skin or mixed race or white wife to offset it. It's never like, let me portray a darker skinned, unambiguously black family. Really like the same could be said, and I'm not trying to make this an all lives matter thing because it's not, we're talking about black lives, but even within like the Indian community, I don't even know any shows about like Indian or like brown people that are in the mainstream culture that have an all Indian family there's always maybe one token you know family or whatever but there's never any shows in the mainstream television that portray that it's always the same thing over and over and over again you know and yeah people are frustrated people who are darker skinned and brown skinned are frustrated and they're tired of seeing lighter skinned people be the representatives of the entire community you know every time you hear so and so is the first black person to achieve this feat and then you look it up and you're like wait they're not black i mean they are black but they're like mixed race black you know they're biracial but no one ever really like coins that or um no one ever really distinguishes between the two. People don't really distinguish between the two. They really always just like kind of put them all in one, like black and biracial. And there really has been an uproar, you know, from people who are darker skinned, who are just tired of being erased in the mainstream television, you know, in the mainstream culture. And particularly in Kenya Barris's shows, it seems like that is the trend. Like everyone's always mixed or someone's always this, that, and the third. It's never like a genuine straight up black family, like a darker skin, unambiguously black or brown skin family it's always the same narrative over and over and over again and it's like where there's smoke there's fire you know like honestly like one show okay two shows like really three shows it's kind of like the, there's a trend here four shows like every single one of his shows has to have a light skin character be the lead or like mixed race be like somehow like palatable it's like almost as if like they're trying to have a mixed race character or he's trying to have a mixed race character in order to make it more palatable to a white audience as opposed to just genuinely portraying a black family, an unambiguously black family. There is a, a cluster of people, a decent cluster of people who enjoy the show and their argument and I believe is somewhat valid, is valid in many in many ways, um, is that we should not be the judge of someone's blackness. Like if someone is identifies as such, like Rashida Jones, for example, is the daughter of Quincy Jones, for those of you guys who do not know that. And that is her identity, you know? Who am I? Who am I to judge or to take away and to say that she's not black enough or whatever? But at the same time, and I totally acknowledge that, um, this is its own separate video, but having come from or having lived a life where people have told me, where people have told me who I am 100% black, that I'm not even black enough, you know? I would never want to take away from someone's blackness, you know? If someone is black, if your father is black, that is a part of who you are, that is your identity. You can identify as black I leave that up to the person if that's who you see yourself as but who you see yourself as and how the world sees you there's two different things right and you really have to be able to acknowledge your privilege like if you're a lighter skinned more ambiguously black human being a white passing lighter eyed human being a black person you may feel that you identify as black but there's really no reason for them to go on the defense because you're still in a place of privilege you know what I'm saying which is why I don't understand on the other side, 
why they feel so strongly and like they don't have to listen to the people of the darker complexions who are upset with the constant misrepresentation of the black community or not even misrepresentation just the erasure of one whole segment of the community and you know i don't understand like i understand the anger to be honest with you i understand the anger and the distress that comes from the side of the lesser privileged group which is the darker skinned um people and i understand why they're angry because they're sick and they're tired and they're the ones who have to really 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 bear the brunt of racism in the everyday world it's not to say that someone of a lighter complexion does not have to deal with racism in their everyday life because absolutely 100 percent but it's to varying degrees you know they still are are able to have privilege you know and people need to be able to take themselves and take their egos out of it because it's a much larger conversation and you really have to be able to acknowledge the people who enjoy the show and who are of lighter complexions who think the show is totally fine you really have to be able to acknowledge why the other side is upset because like I said I don't think that anyone should be able to and it's not even about policing it's like the distrust like I said it doesn't come from the same place like the people of darker complexions are just sick and tired and tired and sick of not being seen in the mainstream media and that is something that has to be acknowledged you know you can enjoy the show and in the same token like acknowledge that and I feel like that's what's really being lost on people is that they just feel like they need to defend it and be like I love this show it's a great show and I don't think anyone has the right to defend anyone's blackness or like police anyone's blackness and the one drop rule and blah 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 and it's just like okay Calm down and listen to the people who are less privileged, okay? Listen to the people who are unambiguously black, who have to deal with the struggle and bear this burden every single day, instead of trying to defend why you love the show so much. Like, it's really like a conversation that needs to be had, you know? And like I said, I haven't seen the show. I don't really care to see the show. To be honest with you, I probably won't be watching. But nevertheless, it's just like, I feel that this idea of making a so-called black TV show for white audiences is really problematic. It's like, can't, why can't we portray those uncomfortable experiences and those uncomfortable moments and not constantly have um, a, a lighter skinned or a mixed race person be the representative, you know? It's, it's very exhausting. You know, even the show, the Netflix show, Dear White People, it's like, why is it that they're trying to, I love the show and I, I watched the show, I've seen all the episodes and I liked it really more so in the beginning, but it almost got lost on me that the main character is a lighter skin. Once again, it's a mixed race girl who is the main character in the show that's supposed to be this like letter to white people about why they're, they they need to like, you know, it, it's supposed to be like a, a PSA or something to white people about all the things that they do wrong, but yet they couldn't even cast a darker skinned black female to be the main lead you know the darker skinned black female is literally like the sidekick and she's in the background of the show and it's like they try to acknowledge that at some point but it's just like why do we constantly and actresses like I love Yara Shahidi someone like her and even um, Zendaya they've acknowledged it before that they they definitely noticed that Hollywood is more receptive or willing to have a conversation about colorism and about racism when it's coming from a lighter skinned person. We really have to stop having people who are of lighter complexions be the ones who have to be the representatives because you're not going to change anything. Your mission is to try to educate people on colorism and like racism and whatever but you're, you're still playing into racism's hand by doing that in colorism's hands by continuing to cast these lighter skinned mixed race actresses and it's not to say like i would never once again police someone's blackness if you are black and you identify as black your father is black or whoever that's all you ever know that's all you've ever known is your black culture then who am i to take that away from you i don't want to take that away from you but at the same time you have to acknowledge that you do have some kind of privilege and even me depending on what room i'm in i have privilege over people if i'm the lightest person in the room and sometimes I'm the darkest person in the room and I acknowledge that and I'm aware of that and I'm, I'm sensitive to that and the idea that we constantly keep seeing the same thing particularly from Kenya Barris like Kenya you got to do better you have got to do better sir like it's just a problem that we keep seeing the same thing from you over and over and over again you're not really doing any 
body justice. You're, you're not really educating the white community on anything if that's what your mission is. If you're trying to quell racism, you're not really doing that great of a job if you continue casting the same looking actresses over and over and over again. And it's like, I have no issue with having a lighter skinned character or whatever, but why not have an ensemble cast where everyone is of equal footing? So we're portraying that we are not a monolithic um, race, you know, we're, we're not giving into that. We have a diverse character, we have brown skin. Why not have a show with brown skin, light skin, everybody's on equal playing field, you know? Or why not just have a show with all darker skin characters because we've seen the light skin experience, we already know what it's like, we, that story has already been told. Why not just have a show with all dark skin characters? It's not that difficult, I just don't understand. Why? Because that's not gonna be greenlit, that's not palatable to white audiences, then why are you even doing it for? for clout? Like, are you doing it because you really do believe in the mission and you want to move the needle forward in the black community? Or are you just doing it just for clout? You know, I don't really understand. But um, yeah, those are my basic thoughts. I haven't seen the show once again. Um, I really probably won't be watching it because um, I'm really just tired of the same narrative. And I already have enough shows on my quarantine queue, so <laughs> I don't need to add to it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on this whole Black AF debate that's been happening. Um, definitely let me know you guys' comments down below. I know that this is a very sensitive topic for a lot of people. Um, the internet has been in a firestorm this entire week just talking about this show. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to shed some light and just share my thoughts and say, I don't know that it is my place to police someone's blackness, but I do know that we've seen the lighter skin narrative over and over and over again. And it is time for some representation for people who are of darker complexion so that little girls and little boys can turn on the TV and mainstream TV and say, oh my God, that person looks like me. You know, Black Panther, we were on the precipice of something great when Black Panther happened, you know, and I want that same energy. I need that same energy. So yeah, those are my thoughts. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.